In our grounding process, we want to think of some basic things to start with. And um, it, it may sound like it's a lot for you to do, but it's really very simple and very easy. You want to first of all realize that you are on the planet. You have to sort of like accept that. You can't say, oh yeah, I'm on the planet. You have to sort of say, oh yeah, I can, uh, if I will look outside, I could find trays and I could feel the ground. I could walk on it, and although I'm up on the fourth floor here, uh, I know by virtue of the fact that I am made exactly the same way as the planet, that I'm designed to be connected to the planet. So I'm going to stand facing to the north as the ideal way to get a start on this. And although you can say face in other directions, it's just a little more convenient to face to the north and keep, and keep your feet just far enough apart that you have a good, firm foundation under you. And then realize that you are like everyone else on this planet. You're being affected by the news, the media, newspapers, magazines, and what somebody said yesterday about the economy. And so whether you realize it or not, that jittery feeling that everybody has is in the air, it's in the essence, and it's in affecting you. So you want to eliminate that. So you want to say to yourself, okay, today I have no worries. My day today is to spend with the planet. And I only need to do this for five or 10 minutes. 20 minutes would be ideal, but five or 10 minutes a day is, is plenty. And so I want to get into that feeling. I want to feel like, okay, I'll shut my eyes and I'll Let's see, what would be the most uh, earth connecting? I'm going to pick my favorite tree. I have a favorite spruce tree that I like. I'm going to take that tree and I'm going to sort of like imagine that I'm out there and I can do that because the way we're made and no matter where I think, because of the way the planet electric magnetism works, I can be any place at any time and right now I'm standing right in front of my favorite tree. And it's a nice firm tree and I want to be like that tree. So I'm going to get myself settled right on the earth, right there, even though I'm up here four levels high. I want to get to feel like my tree. I might even want to put my arms out there to feel like that tree. I want to get to feel like that tree and I want to feel green too. I want that green and I want that brown that takes goes into the earth. And so I want that. And while I'm doing this talking to myself and thinking about this cuz I don't need to talk out loud, I can just think it. I can just sort of get myself in a relationship with that tree. And if I really work at it, I can feel that tree. And I can feel it right there, right next to me. And I can even sort of, if there's a little breeze and the tree moves a little bit, I can move with the tree. And I can feel that. And now I just take a couple of nice full breaths, get good oxygen in my lungs and get that feeling. And then what I'm after is a tingly feeling at the bottom of my feet. I'm after a feeling at the bottom of my feet. So while I'm relating to the tree, I'm gonna sort of move my toes a little bit so that I can actually feel the skin. And then I can, by moving a little bit, I can feel the bones inside my feet. And then one of two things will happen depending on who and where you are. Your feet will get a little cool, maybe. That's one hint that it's working. Or they'll get a little warm. And that's a hint that it's working. And so I'll let that build. And I'll just sort of slow down and settle down into one place and let that tingly feeling come right up through my feet and come up into my body. And just... See how much of it I can feel. And if I stay there for just a little while, I'll notice that just like that drawing I made, the lines going out this way are also carrying that electricity and that. 
and I'm just feeling that. And I could feel like I'm sort of like buzzing, and I'm buzzing happily as a happy tree, as a happy person, as a pa happy human being. And I don't have any more thoughts or any feelings about the economics or any of that sort of thing. I just want to relate to my Mother Earth. And then when you get that feeling, you feel sort of like solid, that the wind could blow you and couldn't even move you in any which way. Nothing can unground you. Nothing can pull you away from that tree. You'll feel yourself stuck right to that tree. It'll feel so good. And then you can just sort of relax and just let that go and know that you've become one with the earth and you've helped stop all that confusion and you're not a part of the fear and you are healthy and you're getting that energy flowing through your meridians. And so now you can open your eyes and join the world as a new person. That's how you want to feel. That's getting grounded. So now we'll go on from there a little bit. I've given you the information that I wanted to give you. I have tried to impress on you the fact that the Earth needs your help right now. We don't want any more earthquakes. We don't want any more jitters. That's a good word, jitters, because people in fear jitter. That's an expression of jittering. We don't want that. We want flow. We want flow, electric, magnetic, flowing, round, giving us power, so we have the power of the earth. And so with that, I thank you for listening, and uh, go out and find yourself a tree. Thank you.